Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we're going to be looking at aggregation, or aggregates, in MongoDB. And basically all that is, is just a way to simply sort and break down a database to find specific values that you are looking for. So for instance, uh, let's just go ahead and get started here. So once again, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub. Uh, so one of the first things that you're going to have to do is you basically have to create a block. And we'll just go ahead and do that. A block. And it's going to be a document. We want the block to be of a document, a BSUN document. And we will just call this print block. And this will be used so we can later on see what exactly is coming out of this. So then we'll just go ahead and say document. And I'm using lambdas. Um, you guys might not have this option, uh, so if you don't, you just need to update your Java to uh, at least Java 8. So then we're just going to go ahead and do system.print, oops, print line, and inside of here it's just going to be document.toJSON. Okay, so what we can do now is we can actually go ahead and start doing the aggregate. So what we do is just go ahead and say collection.aggregate, pretty, pretty simple so far. And before we do that, let's just go ahead and put that on the end of there, just so we know that we have it there. And the next thing we got to do is just go ahead and say a raise dot as list, okay? And now again, we'll just go ahead and press press enter here. Then what we want to say is we want to say aggregate. It's plural aggregates match. And so what a match is is what we want our first search to be. So say for instance, you want to search all of your customers who are, or players, depending what you're using this for, you want to search all of the players, users, customers, whatever, that are in, say, you know, you have their main identifier or their index as their country, right? So, but you could put that there, but mine's not by country. I don't really have a main identifier. Uh, so we're just going to do it by age. So we're just going to go ahead and say age. Oops, sorry. We got to do one more thing before we do that. We got to say we got to create our filters, so filter. And then we're just going to do EQ. And now we can go ahead and say age. And we'll do a comma. And we'll say anyone that's 26 we want. Uh, we'll just do a comma now. Go ahead and press enter. We're going to do the same thing, aggregates. But now we're going to do group. So now that we've broken our first search down, we want to group these. And how are we going to group these? We're going to, well, for me, I'm going to group them by race. And now you need that um, dollar sign there, so don't forget that. So I'm going to group mine by race. And then we're just going to go ahead and do accumulators dot sum. And inside of here, we just need our, basically what how we're doing. And we just want to do a count. And each one counts as one. Okay, cool. And we don't want that there. <laughs> All right, so now that we have that, what we can do is go ahead and down here, let's get back to here, and we are just going to say dot for each, we're going to print block. Pretty simple. And, oops, what happened here? Oh, okay, so we just needed a... Uh, one more uh, parentheses inside of there. There we go. Everything's all fixed now. All right. So now that we got that parentheses, we're going to do print block, and that's just going to print us the results. Now, the next thing we're going to do is just something really simple, just so we can sort of make sure we got through it all. Uh, we're just going to do a print line and collection. Oops. Collection aggregated. Just so we know it finished. All right. So now if we go ahead and run this, You can see there that it you know did our main thing and then the last thing that it printed out was our final one here so it, it aggregated everyone with a race uh, well first off it shows everyone that was 26 and then it shows any and then it split it up by their races it counted it by their races so in our table we have one person that's spanish who's 26 one person that's asian that's 26 and three people that are african-american that are 26 and now if we go inside of here if we just refresh this quick just make this full screen you can see 
that we have three African Americans that are 26, one person that's Spanish, and one person that is Asian. Now if we were to duplicate this, and let's just duplicate uh, Becky here, and let's make her 27, and let's just make her white. So insert. Now if we change this, and we say, I already forgot what I made her, 21? 27. So if we change this to 27, you can see that the only race that shows up is white, because we only had one white person in our database. And now you can do this with a ton of different things. Super great way, especially if, say for instance, I know most people on my channel make uh, Minecraft servers. This is a great way to quickly sort players by their ranks, by their gold, by their kills, and have an easy way to quickly make something like a leaderboard or even just any sort of ranking system. So once again, another really short video. Like I said, I'm going to keep these really short and really to the point. Now there are a lot more um, ways you can break these down and you can separate these. Um, I'll try to remember to leave a link, but if not, just go ahead and Google MongoDB.aggregation or aggregates and you'll be able to find it that way. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.